Welcome to this feature demonstration of Data Center Command Line Interface, better known as DCLI. In this video, we will focus on how to get started using DCLI with the vCenter Server Appliance, or vCSA. While DCLI can be installed on numerous Windows and Linux OSs as part of the vSphere Command Line Interface command set, DCLI is installed automatically as part of the vCenter Server. So let's get right into how to initialize and start using DCLI. Moving over to our demonstration environment, we'll first want to connect to our VCSA. In this case, we've SSH to it. There's a couple ways to use DCLI, but the easiest is by way of the interactive shell. To initialize the interactive shell, we'll enter DCLI, the plus sign, and interactive. You can tell that we're in the new shell by not only the welcome message, but also the prompt has changed. How about we explore the vSphere environment a little bit? We start off by looking for some information about the available clusters by typing in cluster. As we start typing, you'll notice the drop-down which offers some tab-complete options based on what's been typed so far. Since we're looking for all the available clusters, we then enter list. Since this is the first time we're using DCLI in this session, it asks for some credentials and whether we want to save them in the cred store. After having authenticated successfully, we're then given a list of the clusters, or cluster in this case. Let's move on to show the data stores. Start by typing in D, then A. We then notice that we can arrow down and select data store. Since we're looking for a list, we then select list. We're now given a list of the data stores as well as some high level information. How about taking a look at the folders? However, we're only interested in the VM folders. So we start by typing in folder, then list, but we're going to use the type parameter to filter for only folders of the type virtual machine. Now we are given a list of the folders that are only of that type. Speaking of VMs, we can get a list of the VMs by typing in VM, then list. An impressive function of DCLI is to actually change the output's format. This VM list is a good one to use as an example. We repeat the same command as last time, but this time we add a plus sign and then select formatter. There are several desired outputs based on the use of formatter, such as HTML, XML, and JSON. However, we're going to select CSV. We can easily verify we have the same output from before, only now in the CSV format. We've done some reporting options, now how about we create a VM? We'll start by typing in VM, and then we can see an option for create. Selecting that, we're now given a bunch of options. While we can select and set any number of these options, we'll only be doing the basics for this new VM. Start off by selecting the guest OS parameter first, by selecting it and then the desired OS type, in this case CentOS 764. Notice that all of the available OS types are readily available as part of the tab completion capability. We'll then also set a couple other parameters, like which cluster it should be deployed to with the placement cluster parameter, taking note that it's asking for the cluster ID and not the name. We'll then do the same for the placement of the data store and folder parameters too. At completion, we're given a VM ID. So let's do a VM list and see what the ID comes back with. We'll notice a couple things for that VM. Like it's been given a name, one CPU, and two gigabytes of RAM. These were all created based upon the guest OS type due to some assumptions based on best practices VMware has collected and provided when no value has been specified. To see the rest of the information about the newly created VM, we'll type VM again, but this time follow that with get and specify that we only want to get information about VM ID 52. Here we can see all of the information about the VM from the SCSI controller to the VMDK size to whether or not hot add of CPU or RAM is enabled to the hardware version. This concludes this feature demonstration on getting started with DCLI. Thank you. Yeah.